While this bike might be new to our shores, it has taken the US by storm, becoming one of Harley's most sought after bikes. Yeah, we got an indication of the success of the 48 from the US because they launched it a bit earlier than us and it's been their fastest selling bike. So we knew we were on a pretty good thing and we, we love the look of it, so we thought it's really going to hit the, the, uh, the nail on the head, particularly seeing what's happening in the custom market already and paying attention to what customers are doing to their bikes. I'm pretty happy with the end result. I don't think anybody who's ever built one of these would never get to the point where you look at the fin finished job and think, I might have done things that's slightly bit different or better or changed things, but overall I'm pretty happy with the, with the end result. Um, and that was what we were trying to achieve the look pretty much ends up with that 50s, 60s rat rod feel about it. So, yeah, I'm happy. We all agreed on one thing with this bike. It was to be something that harkened back to, uh, I suppose, the bobber roots of the 40s and 50s, before choppers, before big dollar bling shops, and uh, something that, uh, you know, Uncle Bob, hence the name, could, could whack together in his garage. And a bike that He's going to ride every day to and from work and he's going to take out and he's going to race it on the weekend. More than happy is a good way to say it. I'd probably go more with ecstatic. We were, uh, we were really, really pleased with the way this thing came out. You know, these builds, uh, they go, some go smoother than others. Sometimes everything just falls into place. Other times it's a bit more of a struggle. This is one of those that we had a good plan. We had a good design. Lots of folks contributed to it. There were a lot of really good ideas. But in the final assembly, when the things started to come together, there were lots of little things that worked into the process that just made the bike, it, it came up so much better than we were expecting. I mean, the paint came back. We, we had to do the paint in a big rush last minute, and, and kudos to the guys at Sydney Custom. They did an amazing job. And we, we defined this race flag early in the process, but sort of towards the end, we decided instead of doing black and white race flags, we'd do it in the grind, in metal grind, and then paint the race flag over the metal grind. And it just came out beautiful. It's one of the, it, it looks like a pencil drawing. It's so detailed and just so nice. We, we couldn't have been more pleased with the way it all came out. What we used was the original handlebars, and we flipped them over. Um, we took away the, uh, the clutch lever, put a suicide shift on it. So um, now it's foot clutch and hand shift, which uh, makes a big difference. Uh, we've used the Street Bob tail light on the rear, which is a standard Harley. Uh, we have taken away the front guard, put a signature white walls on it, and, uh, and the badges we've used are actually off the 48 Panhead, which we purchased brand new through Harley Davidson. Harley offer a magnificent range, which you know, everybody's different. What, uh, what looks good to me, you might hate, and, and Harley have pretty much got us all covered. It just goes to show you the, the depth of, um, of, of imagination out there amongst all the dealers and the competitiveness and everybody's thinking, you know, I want to do something, I don't want my bike to look like anybody else's. And I looked at the other guy's bikes and thought, yeah, I never thought of that. And, I, you know, well, maybe I would thought of that, but it wasn't what I was trying to achieve. So. Everybody learns from everybody else. It's, you never stop learning in this business. You never stop coming up with ideas. And I think we all sort of push each other and we all sort of give each other inspiration. You may, they might not want to do something exactly what you've done, but they've, you've started a thought process by doing something that sent them on a, on a different sort of tangent. So, yeah, I think it's very healthy. Well, like anyone that builds a bike themselves, you know, they're going to say theirs is better, I guess. Um, but, you know, I do like some of the other ones. They're actually, you know, different. You know, and that's what it was all about, being, using your imagination, and I think that's what we've done. You know, and uh, it's good that we're not all the same, I guess. Everybody did a nice job. They, they took on the challenge, and, and all of the bikes are just beautiful. It's, it's, it's a real testament when you look at, they all started as identical motorcycles, and to see how different the four of them are, uh, it, it really was kind of amazing. It's, uh, it, it, that's what makes a Harley a Harley. They all started the same, but there are no two. You couldn't mistake any one of them for another one now, you know. You can personalise them, and everyone does. You buy a Harley Davidson, no matter how little you do, no matter how much, you're personalising that bike and you're making it yours. A lot of people come in and they're, you know, they're stunned that we've actually got some of the bikes and the gear that's in the catalogues. We've got it here, it's real. You can touch it, you can feel it, you can ride it. It's on the bike, and we can make it to suit you. As I said, everyone's different. Everyone's got different ways of doing things, and we can cater to just about everybody. Originally, the idea for, for this logo was from the Mr. Horsepower people, performance people in the 60s in the 
in, the, in America, and they used the Woody Woodpecker image, but with a bit of attitude and the burning cigar stuck out of his mouth. And I just thought when we had to do the 48, it was just a no-brainer. You can pick it out of a crowd. That's the, the, the individualism is what really makes a Harley stand out for a lot of folks. So people that are new to Harley, you know, that's, that's one of the things that they begin to understand early on. Wait a minute, I can, not only is this cool, but I can do whatever I want with it. I can really, really make it mine. It gives its own unique feel, I guess, you know, for the customer. Uh, and they're always going to be able to say that was in the 48 build-off. During the, the assembly process of this bike, one of our customers walked in and bought it on the spot before we even had a chance to finish it. And he keeps coming into the shop and bugging the hell out of us. When do I get my bike? When do I get my bike? And he's already got some performance upgrades planned for it. Yeah, we've had a big reception since we put it out on the floor. You know, it's only been out there for a day or so before we got picked up. And, um, you know, customers have taken photos of it, asking questions. We've, you know, uh, we've got one guy interested in purchasing it. So, you know, it, it's actually turned out really well. Because we did all the engine work to this one, and it, this bike, really really sounds the part the high compression and cams and everything just it really pops and you start it up and people just go they salivate you know and we had uh, had one customer that we started it up for just the other day before it went on the truck to do the shoot uh, and he instantly he already has a 48 ordered in fact his 48 i take it back has just shown up it was he came to see his bike had arrived and he heard this and went you gotta have it